Hey, my name is Karim. I'm working as a developer in the SAP AI Core platform. Today, I like to show you how you can access the models in the SAP Generative AI Hub with Lighted. I'm going um, to highlight the features of Light LLM and um, the SAP Generative AI Hub. And then I'd like to show you an example framework that uses Light LLM. It is called Crew AI, and um, it allows us to create an agentic scenario where uh, we can leverage um, the large language models. In the, after setting up the agents and the configuration, I will show you the result of this agentic loop in a demo. So Light LLM um, is a package that allows to access more than 100 LLMs in a unified way. Light LLM uses the OpenAI protocol to talk to the models. Although the models all have their native way, so Google models and um, Anthropic models, um, if you want to talk to them, they have a different API than the OpenAI uh, API. Uh, however, uh, the OpenAI API is becoming a standard and supported by most of the models. Out in the wild, there are a lot of um, frameworks and libraries and especially agentic libraries, and a lot of them support light LLM. That's uh, why this is so important um, that also SAP is going to um, provide an add-on such that with all these open source libraries, uh, one can also connect to the models in SAP. You can see here a list of uh, some of these open source libraries, for example, Crew AI, Langchain, Cloud Code, or OpenAI Codex. So let's briefly take a look what is inside SAP's Generative AI Hub. It provides a unified access um, to the models from major providers. So we have OpenAI's Azure's uh, Microsoft uh, ChatGPT. Anthropic Cloud, um, Google's Gemini, uh, Mistral models, Facebook, uh, open source Llama models. Um, all of these models are there in one place. And uh, if you are an SAP customer, you don't have to bother um, to create different credentials or keys. Um, you can access them in a unified way out of the box. And even um, while um, consuming these models, uh, the consumption is metered um, as a token consumption and you pay as you go. In Keket next week, um, we will announce uh, the contribution uh, to Light LLM, which then will allow that um, all the models are at your fingertips. All the models in the Gen AI hub, hub are available there. So let's take a look at Crew AI. Crew AI is an open source multi agent framework. Here you can see an example of a team. You can think of an AI crew as an expert team um, that works together. Each expert has their own specialization and they can um, dig out information on their own, but they can also talk to their um, fellow experts and refine um, their responses. So you can uh, think of, of um, setting up an expert crew and simulating human-like teamwork in order to complete complex tasks. So let's see how we can set up such an um, crew, an expert team. 
Um, first of all, the difference between an agent and a large language model is that the agent is leveraging a large language model, but in addition, it has a set of tools. You can think of tools like um, web search, a call to a database, getting um, signals from sensors. If you provide a method, a call to, to these tools, then the agents can leverage them and um, incorporate the answers from these method calls or the tool calls into their response. So in this um, use case, we are setting up two agents, a researcher, a, which is an AI expert. And um, this AI expert uses the generation tool to expand the prompt, to get more information about the topic and uh, to prepare uh, his research. The second agent is a developer act Toolkit, which will get the mm -hmm. result of the res research of the first agent and then write a blog about it. This um, second agent has two tools. Uh, one is the generation tool and can expand um, on what it's going to write. And the second tool is a summarization tool, a paraphrasing tool. Um, to, to get the final block in a very concise form. Now I want to show you in the code how this, you can see here that um, we are setting up a generation tool. And in the generation tool, you can set up different models. So here we are using the Gemini 2.5. In the par paraphrase tool, which you can see here, um, the model used will be an uh, O3 model from OpenAI. And you can see how you can um, influence the style of this tool. Finally, uh, we are getting the input from the user, the topic we are going to research, and setting up the agents. The first agent is the researcher agent, which will conduct an in-depth research on a topic. And here again, we are using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model, which is the latest model and has um, some really good uh, responses. And this researcher agent only has one tool, which is the generation tool. The second agent, the writer agent, is set up here. Here we can use a different model. Again, it's very flexible. We can use GPT-4.0 uh, in order uh, to write the block based on the research result we got from the previous agent. In addition, we have to uh, define two tasks, the research task. Again, this is about prompting and describing what it is about, and also to give an expected output with bullet points and uh, maybe some limitation on how extensive uh, this research should be. And the writer task, again, um, is instructed how to write down um, the blog with markdowns and levels and titles and paragraphs. And here um, you can see that the crew is set up we have two agents, the researcher and the writer, and we have two tasks, uh, the research task and the write task. Finally, we kick off um, the crew and it starts working autonomously. So before I'm showing you the demo, I'd like to show you the impressive result uh, that we have uh, gotten from this agentic loop. I task uh, the crew to explain to us what is the benefit of using a crew and using agents to solve business use cases. I also wanted some examples of these successful um, results. So you can 
see here some quotes from the researcher agent while it was doing the research and the final block. For me, one impressive result was that the research found out that there is a Centaur model, which is made out of human and AI, and um, where the agent rather augments than replaces the human. Um, and I think, uh, at least with the today's state uh, of the technology, um, we are still in a situation where they should leverage the agents, but they cannot replace the human work. And um, they found out in the research that exactly this combination often provides the optimal solution. Then uh, one business case which was extracted is the Klarna is a financial uh, provider where you can do money transfer. And they have to uh, manage customer queries. And um, obviously they get a lot of these queries and um, using agents, um, it reduced the time and it was equivalent to the workload of hundreds of human agents. I guess uh, these, especially the routine task could be handled by the agents. And similarly, in um, IT operations, there are agents which can monitor and optimize um, infrastructure and um, do, uh, when the alerts come up, um, already take measures um, where humans um, need to be first uh, contacted until they can react. So let's come to the demo now. All the code and also the slides shown here are available in this public GitHub repo. After I installed uh, the light LLM, including the SAP contribution, I uh, set up the crew as I showed you before in the code and I kick off, I call the kickoff command. And here you see I'm prompted uh, with a topic which the crew has to solve. And I wanted the crew to describe me successful business cases that could be solved uh, using an agentic scenario. So you can see the um, execution started and first the researcher uh, agent is going to break down the task for himself. This is typically what we as a human would do. And uh, these agents are also trained uh, to do to process in such a way. And you can see the steps uh, which are listed here to identify purpose and the common business use case. Um, then uh, list popular, popular tools and libraries for building the agents. And um, point six, finding specific real world examples of successful adaptation, which is um, our interest. Interest, interestingly, also some lesser known facts uh, are extracted. So I'm not going to go over every step, but uh, just focus on the highlights um, of what the agents um, worked out. And um, you can see here that already mm, um, two Scenarios are identified where um, agents were successful in solving um, the issues. And um, you can see that customer support and service obviously is one of these areas. And also asking uh, f frequently asked questions. I mean, th that's typically the routine questions that you get when uh, you're a support agent. And um, the researcher agent also formulates its thoughts. This is also good because we can look into what is happening here. Usually how an LLM works is not debuggable. You just get a statistic of words, a sequence of words based on statistics, and you cannot debug into it. But with this agentic reasoning, at least you can see what the uh, um, agent is coming up and uh, what is the thought process. Um, in the next step, we can see uh, 
the technical realization, the architecture, which is extracted by the agent, it um, gets also that initially um, there was a focus on chatbots, but now there is a shift from chatbots to agents. We, we can see the outline um, of uh, AI agents, which are uh, applied in business cases. And you can see the key strengths, 24-7 uh, operation, parallel processing, cost reduction, cost reduction, and advanced data analysis and insight. Let's get to the point um, where the real world examples um, of the AI agent um, are listed. First of all, it's customer service and e-commerce. Here we can see the Klarna case, uh, which was extracted from either um, from the knowledge that the um, large language model was trained on. Or maybe if you add a web search tool, a web research tool, um, the agent could also come up with this information. Or even maybe a, a, a rack uh, database to, to get some specific information out of it. And um, you can see that um, it talks about the Klarna use case uh, where you need to have 24 7 multilingual support which is incredibly expensive and the second use case is the insurance claims and processing where um, the claims are bureaucratic adversarial and it involves in extensive uh, paperwork now the research agent is coming up with his final answer. And you can see this is really a comprehensive um, answer. Let us just focus on some highlights here again, that uh, it talks about tools and library like Langchain uh, and Microsoft Autogen. It uh, talks about the real world adaptation. We already saw the use cases that it was extracted. And what I liked uh, and uh, previously uh, highlighted is the lesser known facts. Uh, and it talks about the Centaur uh, model, which seems to be um, superior, which points out that there should be a combination of um, AI agents and human uh, in order to get better results. So after the research agent uh, is finished um, and um, gives its summarized result, um, the developer advocate, the writer, is going to uh, work on the case. And again, it starts with its um, thought process. Uh, it will use a generation tool to first create a draft of the blog post and then uh, refine it. And um, it is also including the result of the researcher agent. And based on that, um, it finds uh, two flavors, augmentation, automation. The final answer, so the developer advocate um, created the blog. And you can see for yourself uh, the second paragraph. Uh, where it talks about the practical applications. Uh, again, uh, states Klarna's AI system, where um, the queries could be dramatically reduced in time. And also the second part, um, which is about uh, the Centaur model. This concludes our demo. I want to thank you very much for attending today's session. And uh, we will be taking some questions in the chat.